Hello, my name is Matt Knopf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing a Champion Digital Hybrid. Uh, this is the open frame inverter. Uh, it's the 7,000 running watt uh, with the 8750 starting watt. Uh, this is powered by a 420cc engine and we're going to be showing you the propane and natural gas steps for this. Now this is a custom kit designed for this unit specifically. Everything will be set up for you so we'll go ahead and get started and show you that video. Okay first what we're going to do is go ahead and remove our vibration bracket bolt back there. And that's an 8, eight millimeter socket. that off there and we'll pull our tube off right here our vent tube and just kind of tuck that to the side all right and then we'll show you the next step okay now that we've got our stuff removed from the back we'll go ahead and get our cover off here just set that to the side pull our filter out and you got a little metal plate in there go ahead and pull that out and then we're going to go ahead and remove the two bolts holding this back cover to the gasoline carb, and we'll expose that. Let's go ahead and get this last one on. And we'll pull our cleaner off. Now we don't have to pull these other two holes off. We'll just set them to the side like that, and then we'll show you the next step here. Okay, to allow us to install our slim adapter on here, obviously we're going to be pulling the air cleaner away from the carburetor, okay? So what we have to do is we're going to back these studs out about three to four turns. It's not much. There's plenty of meat back in here. We're going to go ahead and remove this metal plate. We will not reuse this. Um, we will supply you uh, two new gaskets with this. So go ahead and set that to the side. And you're just going to go ahead and slide your gasoline carburetor to the side there and then what you're going to do is get you some vice grips okay and then lock down on these tight okay and then when you go to turn these don't try to turn them slow pop them loose um, it's a lot easier that way and you know once you get these set out you when you get your carb you'll be able to see if you need to pull them out any farther just make sure you got enough meat coming back on here uh, so you can get the nuts back on um, so we back these out three to four turns on both of them. Um, these were real easy to come out. Some of them were a little tougher, uh, the older units you get, but this was a new unit. So some of the older ones, if you've had these for a few years, you might have to soak it down with a little bit of penetrating oil just to allow you to break them loose a little easier. So we'll go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, now that we've got these pulled out, we'll go ahead and make sure your gasket's still on there. Go ahead and get your gasoline carburetor lined back up. Slide that back on. Okay, we will give you a new gasket for here. Go ahead and get that on. And slide our slim adapter on. And we'll supply you again with another outer gasket here. Go ahead and get that. And then now we can go ahead and install our air cleaner cover back on. Or actually the back cover, sorry. Um, go ahead, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start these. I'm not gonna tighten them down because we obviously have the back uh, bracket on there yet that we've got to install so let's go ahead and just get these started okay get this out one here started and again like I said just snug them down a little bit and then we'll show you the back steps here all right now that we've got the front all put back on we can go ahead and get our hose connected back up here And again, remember the vibration bracket back here. Uh, obviously, there's a gap in there because of putting the adapter. So we'll give you a spacer here and a new uh, bolt to put in there. So we've got the spacer setting in there. We'll go ahead and get the bolt started. And we'll go ahead and lock that down. And that's as simple as that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get ready to mount our regulator. 
Now, uh, this will all come pre-assembled for you. Uh, your power adjustment will be preset for you. You might have a very minor adjustment there, but you should be able to get that to fire with no problem. Um, and we're gonna mount this right here. And I'll explain to you why I chose this position here to put this. Normally, I'll mount them, because of our carburetor adapter we mounted earlier, most of the time I would mount this up here, okay? But your gas tank's right there. You can't get nothing back in there. And then sometimes you can mount them down lower, but there's no bar going across this bottom. So this, and you can't mount over any further away. You got to keep a close distance to the carburetor adapter because you got to have a good signal. So I chose this here, and then I ran my stuff this way on this, and then we can bring our hook up from here from our slim adapter. Now you can still get to pull your rope, and you can still change your air cleaner without having any problems. I've already looked at it, I've did it a few times, so it's not a problem. So we'll go ahead and show you that. Okay, now what we're gonna do to mount our regulator is we're gonna come over from the side of the frame, and then we're gonna come up, basically it's one inch, just to the bottom of the uh, sticker here. So we're gonna go ahead and mark over two and three eighths, okay? And then from there, we're gonna come over and mark five and three quarters and that'll give us our center to center for our mounting so what i do just to keep the drill bit from wobbling just go ahead and make you a mark there with a punch if not it'll probably wobble a little bit but you should be okay now the gas tank is still about two inches back here so if you're uncomfortable with letting off the pressure before you punch her through get you a wooden block or something and put back there so let's go ahead and get these through. show you the next step okay let's go ahead and get our uh, regulator mounted and I will supply you all the hardware for this too so let's go ahead and just hold it up give you a flat washer on the back <clears throat> get you a lock washer get your nut on there and the same back here at least there's a little bit of room with these most of these are real tight this is a pretty good little setup these down and we'll show you the next step all right now that we've got that mounted we'll go ahead and get our hose mounted up here now what I'll do is just go ahead and get it here and I'll get my hose clamp up to it and before I tighten it I'll kind of just twist the hose until it kind of formats to the frame here now I'll give you some tie straps and you can tie strap these around here and secure it to the frame and just kind of put it up where it's nice and clean and then I'll give you another one for down here just so you got a little extra protection and just kind of just put that in there all right now we'll go ahead and lock this down and that will complete the installation and then we'll show you how we'll start this all right, now that we've got our installation complete here, we'll go ahead and hook up our propane to it. And just block that. You don't need pipe dope for that. Let's turn your fuel on. Okay, make sure your shutoff valve is on. Okay, now on the back of this regulator, there's a primer button. Uh, just hit her one or two seconds. This is your power adjustment. Now we'll preset this for you here. Um, so you shouldn't have to mess with it. You might have to tweak it a little bit, but 
uh, since obviously we have the unit here, we'll preset that for you. So I'm just going to show you with an out of adjustment and then we'll adjust it in. So hit that button. Go ahead and crank it. Okay, for the natural gas setup, all you're going to do is eliminate this bushing here and this brass fitting, and you'll run your natural gas straight to the ball valve here. Now, we also carry all the natural gas hose, the quick connects that are true orifice for running natural gas. Um, and then for your propane side, basically you'll have this set up here. So if you, this is a tri-fuel setup when you buy the propane, and you always have the option to run natural gas, so... All right, that wraps up the installation. Um, again, this is the Champion Digital Hybrid. It's the open frame inverter. It's a 7,000 running watt, uh, the 8750 starting watt. We showed you both the propane and natural gas setups. Now, obviously, this is going to be a custom kit for you. This will not be a throw-in-a-box kit for you, so everything will be preset for you. So, and again, there's a reason why you're converting this to an alternative fuel. Number one is dependability. Propane will last forever, and with natural gas, you have an endless, endless supply of fuel. So uh, in emergency situations when you need it, they'll start for you. Unlike gasoline, you know we'll go bad after a while. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, uh, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com, or we could be reached at 734-992. 2648. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. Thanks.